Well, it's so satisfying. Ta -da. But no, look at my wardrobe. My oh, okay. I wanted to show you our French kitchen. That's very personal. I hope you're not gonna judge me. I say to the driver, go back! I just got back home after the event. I didn't even film it in the event because there were so many people. And sometimes I still feel like embarrassed, like, you know, I still need to get used to using all of this again. By the way, there's still like the toys of Romeo everywhere. Like we have the little bicycle. It's like giving me so many memories because when I was pregnant of Charlotte and we were in Paris, Romeo was like running around the table on his bicycle and I was running after him with my belly this big. But anyway, that's not what I wanted to tell you. So I'm back at home and guess what? All the kids are out. All the kids are out. So we have Andy that went to a dinner and he's gonna go party for sure. This boy is, is a party animal. Uh, Xenia is also at a dinner party. I'm the only one who was like, mm -mm, no, thank you. <laughs> I'm so bad. I don't know how people do it, I swear. I don't know. I'm like so happy to be back home. I'm gonna take off my fancy clothes. I'm gonna take off my makeup and I'm gonna put on my sweatpants I have all in cashmere, so warm. And I'm gonna order some food because obviously in all those fashion week parties, there is no food. I need to do the edit of the vlog. My phone died two times during this fashion week. Like I have no space, I'm scared of like editing and it's going blank. So yeah, if I don't, I'm just gonna, just gonna eat and watch a movie. Wait, I'm gonna put you here. I don't, oh, this is the zoom, that's not what we want. You know what, I'm gonna take off the shirt first because otherwise I'm gonna destroy it and I'm gonna put my sweatpants, wait. Okay, we are back. Okay, so I wanted to show you something. So usually what I'm using is the oil from Kodali, which is like an almond oil. When you have like ton of makeup, like I do now, it's, so good. This is like a Korean product that I bought. It's vitamin E eraser cleaning oil. The name is Meisani and it's the same concept. So you put it on your face, you rub it very well. It's so satisfying also because it's so soft. I don't know if you're the same, but I really struggle to take off the mascara. Hello. <laughs> to take off the mascara and the only thing that is working for me is this oil. Like look how dirty are my hands already. Oil it, you rub it very well. I should have put an end band, but I didn't, obviously. And then you put some water on your hands and it's gonna do a cleanse. Oh, see it? It's doing a little mousse, I don't know. Ah yeah, you can see it. I don't wait. I need to. Oh my god, the water is like dark. It's so disgusting. Okay, medicine. Where is it? I have this. I'm gonna use that. This is perfect. Okay, good. Okay, and now I'm gonna splash, splash my face. Ah. Oh. Okay. Okay. First step done. But they're, oh my God, see how brown I am? This is so bad. So much makeup. Anyway, then after I go either with the Aven one, if I feel like I have a bit of acne, or this one is pretty cute. It's the Clean Cleans Me Softly Mix Milk Cleaner from Cioris. I don't know if you can read that. Yeah. And it's like cream and it's the second clean. I have to say that to be really honest, I do it when I, I'm not with the kids because if I'm at home with the kids, like literally my skin scare lately is like me splashing water on my face and that's it. That's it. It's done. I'm done with it. So I really enjoy being away just to have this minute more. But to be really honest, I feel like I cannot blame them for not taking care of myself. Like I could do it if I was waking up earlier, but I just don't. They love my sleep. 
But I prefer looking like shit than, than waking up earlier. Oh, oh my god, this feels so much better. How does it look like? See, I still have a bit of mascara. I swear to god, there's nothing that can help me, but the skin feels so clean. And after that, I love to use... Elena Rubinstein, I love them, I work with them and I discovered all the gum and it's so good. My skin is so good with that. So I've been using it since then and I have to say that I love it. That's basically it for my for my routine tonight. Ta -da. The house is such a mess. Such a mess. Tomorrow I'm gonna wake up and I'm clean everything i'm gonna put a bit of organization because no ma look at my bed there are like the hangers and the clothes everywhere i'm also so bad because my luggage looks like this i wish i was that kind of girl that is like you know super organized and a bit like ricardo is like ricardo is so organized my love like Everything is put at the right place. I'm like the opposite. I'm so messy. I I kind of love to live in my mess. And then I have this moment that I need to clean everything. But I'm not a tidy person. Like, I think it's like different kind of personality. And sometimes I wish I was tidier. Like, I wish I was that girl that has everything under control. That is always like so well put together. And... When we travel with Andy, it is really hilarious because the boy is always arriving, like, put together, like, perfume and na na na. Even if we have the plane at, like, five, I swear to God, I get to the taxi and I arrive to the airport, like, I don't even know what my name is. Like, I, 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 I did nothing. Like, I brushed my teeth and I took a quick shower, but that's it. Like... If you look at my Instagram, you're like, oh my God, Gabrielle is so put together because it's always like, you know, when I'm shooting, I'm trying to make an effort. But honestly, like, you know, with the vlog, you know, you know me. So you see me like, this is me. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> we cannot lie anymore. Like, this is the real situation. <laughs> You know those meme in which like you have like this thing about the husband and you have the picture of the girl like Instagram picture looking so good and saying like I thought I was getting that but he's getting that <laughs> my bad. I'm gonna try to be a bit more you know what it's always the thing about when I'm gonna have the house I'm gonna be a new woman <laughs> and when I'm gonna be in my house I'm gonna wake up early I'm gonna be put together <laughs> you will have to keep me accountable for this uh, for this saying because I'm not sure I will be able to make it but I really do believe that you know being in a home in which I have my things I can organize myself is gonna help me out because honestly I've been I've been living out of luggage for like over a year now. Can you imagine we moved out three times in one year with two kids? So it's a lot. And in no place did I ever felt home, did I ever had my clothes, nothing. Like everything, all everything that I have is in boxes and it's waiting for me to be in my new home to finally unpack. My God, it's gonna be so fun because when I'm finally gonna be home, it's gonna be like I have a new wardrobe because everything I had, I never saw for like two years. Because when, when we left the home in Milan, I was pregnant, so I packed everything. And you know, our, our dream home was supposed to be ready last December. So it's okay, I don't need all my clothes. <laughs> Little did I know that it was gonna be a year later and I would have nothing. <laughs> you know, I just, I don't want to give myself excuses, but still a bit. But no, look at my wardrobe, I swear. Like, what is this? What is this? At least I have to pick up the hangers because it's like bothering me. But yeah, it's like an explosion of stuff, like clothes all of these are like coats basically i only have coats which is a good thing we love a coat anyway by the way you gave me so much aid for my kitchen 
in my new home, I mean, no, you didn't. Only a few comments, but I have to say that it's quite true because we have a small kitchen, but I wanted to show you our French kitchen, like our kitchen in Paris. And this is the biggest kitchen we ever had. We always live in house with the tiniest kitchen. So this is our Parisian kitchen, like honestly. This is it. And it's also the place where we are doing like all, <laughs> all the cleaning. But to be honest, like for now, that's the needs that we have. Maybe if I start to be in love with cooking, it's gonna change. But for now, this is not the situation and we are always eating in a dining room. So basically we just do breakfast in the kitchen and then we cook and we eat in the dining room. So, but I have to say that when I read your, co your comments, I was a bit concerned. I was like, my God, maybe they're right. Maybe I'm gonna regret this decision of making the kitchen smaller to have a toilet for the guests. I don't know, it's so complicated. Like, as you don't really know how we're gonna be on it for so long. And I don't know, we just like a bit listen to our heart, but the kitchen is gonna be very well done and it's gonna be pretty. So hopefully it's gonna work out. And I hope I'm not gonna have regret at least in the next three years. Otherwise I'll be very pissed off. And we will have an outside kitchen uh, on the terrace. So summer, it's gonna be there. So maybe it's gonna help us work the situation out. Okay, I'm looking for a lighter. I never show that I'm smoking on social media because I don't want to be a bad influence. And I actually, I was smoking the electronic cigarette because my doctor told me so. I'm really like, I'm scared because I've been smoking for so long. And I, I, I started to be scared for my health. And my daughter told me, okay, listen, you have to smoke these ones. And then this is going to help you to make the step to stop. But they don't sell it here in France. So I finished my pack and there's nothing. So I bought those Vogue. And this is the last time I'm going to smoke this stuff. Done. Done. You're only going to see me with electronic cigarettes till I finally stop. Like, I want to be settled in the home and feeling a bit more, like, relaxed so I can have, like, the gut to fight this addiction. It's so weird because when I was pregnant, I stopped, like, straight away. But then, as soon as I could, I went back to smoking. But now I, like, I want to I wanna get rid of this, this habit, you know? It's, like, really, it's really bad. But, yeah. So yeah, I'm sorry if I'm smoking in front of you. I don't want to give you a bad habit. I'm trying to stop. But I want to be real, you know? I'm not perfect, like I'm far from being perfect. And I feel like this is a smaller community that we have here. Way more intimate, so... I don't know, I don't need to tell you that you shouldn't smoke. You already know, so voila. I don't want to influence you in a bad way. I'm so happy I'm back on YouTube. Like, I'm so happy. I love it so much. It makes me excited again of like creating content and sharing it. Like, I really feel like you are the best community. I'm so thankful for you. I love reading your comment. I love seeing you like finding me on other platform, like on TikTok or Instagram, telling me, yeah, I saw the video, I loved it. And it really makes me so happy. And I'm going to do it. I'm not going to let you down this time. Like, I'm super happy. Thank you so much for being here, following alone, um, giving me courage and strength and like always sending me love. It's honestly the best. By the way, today was so emotional because after the Isabel, mm, mm, Isabel Maron show, I have this girl that is always that has been like one of my followers for so long and she's always sending me like the cutest like comments and messages and always like very i don't know how to say like so gentle and so sweet and she texted me on instagram and she was like hey what shows are you doing today and we never met no and i was like i'm going to isabel maron and nah, nah, nah. and she was like okay i'll be there blah 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 when I got him, you saw it was like so messy. Oh, then you? Yeah. It's insane. No. So I couldn't, I, 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 I couldn't find her. 
And I texted her after the show and she didn't reply straight away. So I was like, okay, maybe she's gone because, you know, it was a long time and maybe she didn't wait in the cold, obviously. And so I went in the car. I had this job for Al Florence, so I needed to go. The second that we left and I'm in the car, I saw her message saying like, uh, I'm on this side, no, no, no. And I'm like, no way. Like, I just left and she's like, Oh, it's okay, Gabriel, don't worry. And I was like, no, there's no way I'm not seeing you. Like, it's been years that you're supporting me, that you're texting me. Like, I feel so close to you already. I'm like, no. I say to the driver, go back. I text her, meet me there now. And I finally saw her. Honestly, made my day. Like, made my day. I don't know if I can show you a picture because I don't want to expose her, but we took a, a cute picture together. I'm gonna show just a little part of the picture. She's called Anne. She's so cute. Could be my little sister. <laughs> no, I was so happy. I am so grateful. And I don't know, it was weird because it was like I was seeing a friend, you know, like I wanted to hug her, like I wanted to, I don't know. And if you see this, thank you. And I really hope I will see you again very soon. I'm motivated, like after the deep postpartum depression in which I felt like I lost myself a bit, I want to find myself again. I want to be back. I want to be connected to you guys. I want to share. I want to... I want to get out of my own little bubble of like, you know, figuring stuff out. By the way, Santé. Your girl is not going out, but you can be sure she's gonna have a little glass of wine before she's going to sleep. A chapter is closing and a new one is opening and I feel better about what's coming. Like, I, I feel like I'm in a place in my life in which I can be, I don't know, I can feel more serene, you know? But I'm always like comparing myself and saying I'm not good enough and I should do this and I should do that. And Andy today was telling me like, girl, you forgot that you have two kids. Like you did all of this stuff while bursting and having kids. So you should be proud of yourself. Like all the girls you compare yourself to, they, they are single. They are so, you know, and I was like, yeah, you're right. Like I, I should be sometimes a bit more, uh, I don't know proud of myself maybe I don't know that's very personal I hope you're not gonna judge me but yeah I feel like it's time for me to you know try to love myself better indeed quitting cigarettes going to the electronic one then slowly quitting and like making sure that I'm taking care of my health better these are the real thing about like finally trying to loving myself a bit more and not like putting myself in situation that I'm hurting me. This is a very, very big love letter to myself, you know, to try to not hurt me in some ways. I don't know if you understand what I mean, but I want to do it for me. I want to do it for my kids. I want to do it for my husband always trying to be your better version. Anyway, I didn't so if you send me questions for the Q&A, I'm gonna check it out. Allora. Okay, we have some. So we can, I can do a little q and It's been so long. I think it's good that we do a little q and I'm excited. That's it, I'm gonna finish my cigarette. I need to order some food, by the way. I don't know what I'm gonna go for. It's late also. I miss my kids and my husband so much. I know it's boring because I say that a lot, but I swear to God I say it way less than what I'm actually thinking. Like, I try to hold myself from saying how much I miss them, but I really do miss them so much. Like, it's the only thing, the only thing, the only thing that I don't like about my job is really like how much I miss my family when I'm, when I'm away for work, you know? Two more days and I'm gonna be back home to my kids, finally. And then we go to Milan, 
We go to the lake. I'm gonna take you with me to see the architect. We are gonna do a full day together at the architect. So I can show you everything that we worked on. You're gonna give me your advice. Mm. I'm really struggling with the living room at the moment, so I would really appreciate like you to give me like your point of view. And yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm excited. The wine is almost finished. It's time for me to go sit on my sofa and order some food and watch some silly, silly, silly videos online. To relax. Oh. See you tomorrow.